let's create some construction lines and horizontal vertical lines. So we will create a new part. Select open. Again, we want to set this. Change this to quarter inch. Uh, by the way, if I hit tab, it should automatically change the other one so you don't have to change all four. So if you just change the top one and hit tab, the second one for Y will change accordingly. Oh, and I don't like adaptive grid on. That drives me crazy. So we'll select OK. You see how far it zoomed up by default? So we're going to get a little closer to this part. And I'm going to create a different kind of line. This is called a construction line. So I'm going to build a line, but I'm also going to make it horizontal. So when I click here and click a position, I'll just click a position, let's say, right about here. At 3 and 3, click. This move my cursor and click anywhere. Even though I'm not on the line, if I click, it's going to create it horizontally. If I come down this way and click, it creates it vertically. And then I could just turn the line command off to stop that. Now, I could create a whole bunch of horizontal and vertical lines the same way. Again, I could go to the down arrow where the draw is and select the construction line. And I'll go to 4 and 4 this time. Select a position and then come up even if I'm not on the line I could click and it creates a vertical line if I come down it shows a horizontal uh, horizontal line even if I don't click on the line and click because I had this feature set the orthogonal it forces the line to be horizontal and vertical no matter where I select so that's construction lines with horizontal and vertical. How does that differ? Well, let's talk about offset lines. Instead of creating it that way, I'm going to create a bunch of offset lines a little bit different. I'm going to hit offset and it says through by default. And that's what I want. There's a choice down here on the bottom through, erase, and layer. I want through and I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to select a line and then I'm going to come over this way and if I click, it will be 4.75, but if I type in 1 and hit enter, I created a vertical line parallel to it, one inch apart. Again, what I do is, with it still active, I can select the line, slide this over, and I can click where it says 1 inch, or I could select this line, slide this over, and just type in 1 inch. All these lines are all 1 inch apart. Okay, I'm going to exit this and I'm going to show you another technique I'm going to use offset just like I did last time and I'm going to use through just like I did last time all I have to do is hit enter and it automatically picks the through here or you can type in the letter T it might not be visible on, on your screen but the T the E and the L are blue which means if you type that letter in it will default to that but it's highlighted through already near my cursor so I'm just going to hit enter and this time um, what did I do? I'm going to hit escape here let me see I feel like I I want to do multiple lines when I hit offset through is the next one where is my M for multiple select this line oh there it is so you see it has multiple. If I click on the M for multiple, it does multiple lines. And I could just go one, enter, just move my cursor off the side, two, enter, three, enter, four, enter, five, enter. And it creates a bunch of lines that are parallel to each other. So, again, how I did that is I'll hit, a, uh, I'll hit offset again to start this over. And from this vertical line, I want to do a through. So I hit enter, select a line, come over to the side, and we're going to use multiple. So I click on the M for multiple.
come over here and I just type in, even if I'm not an inch, it's only a half inch away. If I type in one, it just automatically shoots it over one and two and three and four and five. It just continues from the last line that was created. So six, and there's your multiple lines. I'm going to hit escape. Dang it, not escape. Uh, Got to remember that doesn't work here when I'm in AWS. Escape will work fine on your computer. Just because I'm using AWS, it keeps escaping the AWS. All right. There is a trim command. So if I select trim and I click here and click here, click here and click here, they all go away. I select with my left button and I just drag it down. As this passes through, they disappear and finds wherever the last intersection is. Okay. And it stays in there because it's the last thing I picked. So left click, left click, and that's a quick, easy way to create a chart. All right, let's do one more thing. Let's create a layer. And call it construction. So this is going to be yellow. Say OK. And then this pick this line and we'll choose that 0.6 line weight and select OK. And we'll create that line using construction. Uh, again, I'm going to use that orthogonal to get the horizontal vertical line. Go to the draw command and hit the down arrow. And we'll create a construction line. So I create a construction line around this. Click here and click here. And then click here. I created that horizontal vertical line. I'll hit offset, just hit offset here. Why didn't these come in thicker and yellow? Did you say because I didn't activate the layer construction? Let's try that again. I'll do a construction. We'll come up here and click here. Sorry, we got to activate construction line. Select here and here, select here and over here, and select thickness, and now you see those lines came in thicker. All right, do you remember the trick to making uh, these lines the same as this one? I'm going to hit escape. Uh, not, uh, I'm going to select this line and use my control button and grab this line. Oh, sorry, you don't have to do the control button. I was in another CAD software for a moment. When I select those two lines, I should be able to click on this and hit construction, and it changes them to be the same. Do you remember the technique on how to trim those outer lines? If I go to trim and select here with my left button and just kind of go around, that's not going to work. So we got to come back. Oh, shoot. Let's hit undo to that. So when you do the trim, I'm going to click and drag this, click and drag over here, click and drag here, click and drag here, and that's. Uh, looks like I missed a little bit, but that's how you create horizontal vertical lines, construction lines, infinite length lines. Let's see what else was I going to cover? Uh, visible lines, referencing figure 2 1 in your print reading book. Under modules, you'll find this video. Oh, I got this in the wrong spot. That's weird. 
Uh, this video is here under construction. Invin infinite lines, in construction lines are infinite in length. We did horizontal, vertical, visible lines, and we created a chart. And I referenced 2 1 for where I got that thickness. All right. Thanks for watching. Hope that helps.